your bombing like a bomb with giant man Msanii David o, kila interview ambayo amekuwa akifanyiwa kama sehemu ya promotion ya album yake mpya Timeless ambayo inazidi kufanya vizuri amekuwa akizungumzia utulivu ambao aliuhitaji kabla kuachia album hii na kuzungumzia usumbufu ambao aliupata kipindi ambacho aliachia album yake A Better Time hasa kuwepo kwa upinzani wa David FC pamoja na Whiskey FC upande wa fans sasa hii ni interview ambayo alifanywa na podcast Twayo Plus 44 and kwenye hii interview David ameeleza kuwa kipindi ambacho anaelekea kuyacha album yake ya Better Time kuna sito fahamu ambazo zilitengenezwa na mashabiki na ina kutokana na ushindani mkubwa ambao ulikuwaepo kati ya David FC na timu ya Whiskey FC ambao walianza kushambulia na mapema kabla ya Better Time album yenyewe kutoka and kuna muda baadhi ya tracks zikawa zimevujishwa haikushia hapo baada ya taarifa kutoka kuwa msanii David amewashirikisha mastawa kubwa kwa nchini Marekani kama Lee Baby and Nicki Minaj mashabiki pinzani walianza kuwa DM pakubwa sana mastawa wa kimuziki kama Nicki Minaj pamoja na Lee Baby Nicki Minaj alishiriki kwenye single itwayo Whole Ground na Lee Baby kwenye single So Crazy ambazo zote zilipatikana kwenye album yake ya Better Time na kutokana na mashambulizi kwa makubwa sana ni mashabiki kwa waudiza master hao Nicki Minaj pamoja na Lee Baby ni kwa nini umekubali kushirikishwa na David ikafikia hatua Nicki Minaj na Lee Baby wakampigia simu David na kumuuliza kwa nini wanashambuliwa ama wamekuwa DM'd pakubwa sana na mashabiki wakauliza masuala hayo na anasema kuwa hiki ni kitendo ambacho kinapelekea kushindwa kufanya video ya single ya How Ground na Nicki Minaj lichokuwa alifanikisha hivyo ni kushoot video na Lee Baby kwenye So Crazy yote yote ni kutokana na mashabiki pinzani yani Whiskey FC pamoja na David FC kuleta mashambulizi kwa wasanii usika ambao walishiriki kwenye album hiyo na David wajeshi hapo akasema kuwa kwa mfano yeye anakuja hapa nchini Tanzania anashirikiana na msanii mkubwa kwenye kazi fulani then anarejea nchini Nigeria na baada muda anaanza kuona mashambulizi kwenye mitandao ni kwa nini ameshirikiana na msanii ambaye ana upinzani na msanii mwingine mkubwa kwa nchini Tanzania so mind yake inaweza kubadilika hata kutaka kuendeleza ushirikiano maybe wa kufanya video kwenye kazi ambayo ameshiriki kishwa na msini usika na hiki ndicho ambacho kilitokea kati yake na Nick Minaj. Siki hapa ambacho anakizungumza David. Your Twitter following is crazy. is crazy like when they go ham they go ham and I'm get what you mean like somebody from that camp doesn't yeah, like really? yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, and like boycott the album yeah, they, No, it's no, crazy like no. they leaked my album. Yeah. They leaked it. Yeah, somebody got a wind of the album and it's just like Okay for example like these stand ships mm. obviously is my fans now I can't get to all of them but there's one person I can call and be like yo talk talk to them tell them to come down like that type oh, really? of stuff. Okay cool that's kind of cool So like before the album came out I called I called one of them I was like look last time I dropped my album you guys like were just bashing everybody so when it was like my turn to come out right there were just unnecessary things happened like even Nikki called me Nikki Minaj Lil Baby were like, yo, why, yo, why this, like, oh, the other yeah, fans yeah. were DMing them. Oh, why, did you, why did you do a song with David Doe? Oh my God. Like, <laughs> have, you, have you watched Swarm? No. No, I haven't watched that song like one episode. This is just like yeah, that. Yes, that's oh, the, the girl was a fan. And yeah. I, I made a video and I said, yo, artists need to start telling their fans, yo, you love me too much. I love you, but love me less. Because <laughs> yes. if you're going to start that bashing other people for me, that's so too much. Now. So like before yeah. the album came, I said, look, I don't want any... I was like, look, I was even with Whiskey earlier this week. Mm. So just so, chill out, yeah, yeah. You don't have to tweet anybody or say, eh, this yeah. one is past. If you like it, just say you like it. Because I won't lie to you, I will say it affects sometimes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember this one for a fact, like when they were tweeting Nikki. Like, basically, better not even do the video. Because it's a mental wow. thing. Like, if I'm sitting on my phone, I'm like, ah. Yeah. If I, do, if I go to Tanzania, for example, and I do a song with an artist there, and yeah. I get back home, mm. and I'm seeing like, hate comments mm-hmm. from maybe the artist I did a song with he has a rival yeah, yeah. and they are mad that I came and yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. it can change your line yeah, of thought yeah, yeah, yeah. do you understand so like I learned a lot from like my previous album right okay and this is my first album where I didn't feature any US artists right and was you was, or any international artist I just featured like people I know and like Africans was that I don't deliberate consider Skepta that like he's like my Nigerian brother so Was that a deliberate thing like I want to um, just focus yeah, on I Yeah, think. two reasons why not only because I didn't really want the stress of like clearing music I just wanted to put out music that like I have just done. Okumbuke pia kuna mtandao halafu kuna mtandao super Vodacom. Hivi unajua tofauti yake. Ngoja nikuambie kitu. Mtandao unakupa offer lakini ukijiunga na mtandao super Vodacom leo unapata jibiza kutosha 
Hakuna tozo ukitoa na kuweka pesa kwenye Mpesa kwa kiwango chini ya shilingi 1500 na ukinunua bando kwa Mpesa utarudishwa hadi asilimia 15 gharama za bando. Upo hapo. Na ndio maana Vodacom ni zaidi ya mtandao.